Connecticut, News at 6. A lot of us like, this is heartbroken. Right now at 6, a Black Lives Matter mural created to bring positivity to the city of Hartford left vandalized, and the man police say is behind it appeared in court for the first time today. Good evening. Thanks for joining us here for the News at 6. I'm Keisha Grant. And I'm Mike Heideck. Over the weekend, a man was actually caught on camera defacing this mural with a swastika and white supremacy messages. It's an act of hate the community says they will not tolerate. That's why there's a rally underway right now at the mural. NBC Connecticut's Jolie Sherman is live there with more. Jolie. Yeah, Mike, Keisha, people are coming together tonight in response to this incident. Already there are a few advocates here talking about how this mural is a symbol of hope and unity. They also say that it works to send the message that there is no place for hate and discrimination here in the capital city. Meanwhile, we are learning that the man accused of vandalizing this mural has a lengthy criminal history. In court Thursday morning, 36-year-old Scott Franklin, the man accused of vandalizing the Black Lives Matter mural in Hartford. Police released this surveillance video of Franklin and two other people in Bushnell Park Sunday morning. Franklin is seen carrying a blue bag. Moments later, the video shows him stopped over the letter E in the word lives. Artists say they were devastated to find hate-filled symbols and messages left behind. A lot of us like was just heartbroken because the community we worked together so much to try to make something positive. While the mural was created in 2020 in response to the killing of George Floyd, a lecturer at the University of New Haven says this vandalism incident highlights why the Black Lives Matter movement is an ongoing call for change. According to the arrest warrant, Franklin is accused of not only drawing a swastika, but the numbers 88 and 14, which mean white supremacy slogans. We can't have a nation going forward in that manner. The movement, not a moment, is to continue to oppose people who espouse that. Mayor Luke Bronin says he's grateful for the police for catching a suspect. It says the city stands strongly against this behavior. It was a vile act of hate. It was an act intended to sow fear and division, but uh, we're not going to be divided or made afraid. A heart now covers up the hate and artists say they're moving forward and continuing to touch up the mural. I just hope he finds some love in his heart somewhere. I, I feel really sorry for him that he will walk around with so much energy for hatred. Now, earlier today, we noticed artists here at the mural working on it, and some of them are still here hours later. Now, Scott Franklin is due back in court next month on July 6th. He's being held on a $150,000 bond. Keisha.